13th is a rather grisly anniversary because it marks the announcement in 1943 by the government of Nazi Germany that it had found mass graves in Poland containing the bodies of army officers, landowners, priests, policemen, intellectuals who had been deliberately exterminated by Stalin's NKVG, the forerunner to the KGB. And it raised the question, what do you do when you know, you know you're dealing with an evil regime? Obviously, one strategy would be to say, oh, no, it's just Nazi propaganda. The Germans probably killed those guys. After all, it was the Nazis and the Bolsheviks together who had conquered Poland at the beginning of the Second World War. That, of course, is what Stalin said. When the Polish government in exile in London demanded a Red Cross investigation, he broke off diplomatic relations with them, and he would never restore those relations, even after FDR and Churchill persuaded the London Poles, as they were called, to drop their demand for this investigation. And it's very revealing that Churchill and Roosevelt would do such a thing. Because, in one sense, they knew what they were dealing with. They were allied with Stalin because it was necessary to defeat Hitler. And I'm not for a minute diminishing the incredible hardships the Russian people endured or the contribution they made to victory in the Second World War. Something like six of every seven German soldiers killed in that conflict died on the Eastern Front. And yes, the Soviet government, with its ruthless methods of organization, did eventually manage to put together an impressive war effort. Though frankly, I think, if Russians had had a better government, their natural toughness would have led them to put forward a more effective, not a less effective, war effort. Nevertheless, when Hitler turned on his former ally in Stalin and invaded the Soviet Union, and then the Allies, the Western Allies, proceeded to make common cause with Stalin and people raised questions, Churchill actually said, that if Hitler invaded hell, he would at least contrive to make a favorable reference to the devil in the House of Commons. And Stalin would quote the proverb from the Balkans that in times of extreme danger, it is permitted to hold hands with the devil until you are safely across the bridge. So they literally compared Stalin with the devil. The problem is they didn't take their own words seriously. When they met with Soviet leaders, and this is particularly true of Roosevelt, they ignored the fact that they knew the man opposite was evil. When Roosevelt came back from a meeting in Tehran with Stalin and Churchill in late 1940, this is after the Katyn massacre has been revealed, he said, you know, I got along very well with Marshal Stalin and we're going to get along fine. Uh, Life magazine published a feature saying that Russians are one hell of a people who, to a surprising degree, look like Americans, dress like Americans, and think like Americans. So it wasn't just the politicians, the political class collaborated in self-delusion over what they were dealing with. And it went on until late in the war, when Roosevelt came back from meeting with Stalin at Yalta, this is in February of 1945, when there is very little excuse for not knowing and stating bluntly what your ally is like, because the Germans are clearly beaten at this point, he told Congress that the Yalta Agreement would mean an end of spheres of influences and balances of power, that there would be a harmonious cooperation in a peaceful and democratic post-war world. And apparently he really meant this. He told his cabinet shortly afterward that there was something beyond the communist in Stalin, maybe it came out of his seminary training, but that he seemed to have something of an awareness of how a Christian gentleman should behave. Stalin? The guy who murdered tens of millions of his own people on purpose through starvation and execution? And what happened at Katyn? Yes, they massacred those Polish officers they'd captured when they invaded Poland in partnership with Hitler in 1939. There were perhaps six or 8,000 of those. But there are a total of 22,000 in the Katyn massacre broadly. There were other grave sites than Katyn and the killings went on for months in various places, but it's, it's known as the Katyn massacre. They executed landowners, they executed gendarmes, they executed saboteurs, they executed priests, they executed intellectuals. Essentially, it was an act of genocide, not because they tried to in annihilate the entire Polish people, but because they tried to decapitate them, to kill everybody who might provide leadership and direction to Polish society. And what the Western Allies did, by and large, was ignore what they knew about their ally. And the result of this, they were plunged into a Cold War for which they were unprepared, which then led to a panicky overreaction, which helped trigger McCarthyism. All kinds of evil consequences, beginning with failing to take a stronger stand in the closing phases of the Second World War and move their armies further east so that less of Europe would be occupied by these dreadful, murdering, genocidal Bolsheviks. They knew they were dealing with the devil. They pretended they didn't know it. And that, as always, is a disaster. I don't know that you should ever hold the hand of the devil to cross a bridge. 
I can see allying with Stalin in order to beat Hitler, but don't call him Uncle Joe. He's not. He's a cold-blooded mass murderer. And kidding yourself about that and lying to your own people about it can only bring down disaster upon your head. The victims of the Katyn massacre need to be remembered first and foremost because they were human beings, horribly killed. But they also need to be remembered as a geopolitical warning. Never pretend a regime is not evil, even when you are obliged to deal constructively with it. If you're enjoying these commentaries, please visit my website, that's johnrobson.ca, make a contribution to sustain me and my work. And also, keep watching The Rebel and keep subscribing for the news and commentary you will not get anywhere else.